Now, when you start with your social media, you need to work out whether you want awareness, sales, or loyalty. And you need to pick one of them because your focus will be quite different. Your, how you approach social media will be different according to which one you want. And you may say, use different platforms in a different way. And your objective would be according to what your current relationship of with your customers. So if you've got lots of people who have no awareness of you, uh, or some awareness and not taking action, you really want to focus on building awareness. If you've got single actions, you might look at building your sales. And obviously, if you've got lots of loyal customers, you want to retain your customers, so you want to look and focus on loyalty. And that will set how you use social media as well. So do you know where your audience hang out? Now, I've been not used, you see, I'm not using marketing speak here, am I? <laughs> but you know what I mean. So where, where are your audience? Where's your tar target market? Are they, if they're young, they might be on Facebook. There's no point in, if you're comfortable on LinkedIn and all your customers are using Twitter, there's no point in using LinkedIn when you should be on Twitter. You need to be, you need to fish where the fish are. And if you have a niche market, that niche market might actually be on a forum. So it could be different things for different people. It's a case of knowing what your customers are, how they use social media, and being where they are. Now, they may be using a whole load of different mediums, so you then need to sort of make sure you cover, cover your bases. OK, the, the elevator pitch. You know the elevator pitch. You've got a minute to two minutes to sell your business to, to somebody if you start in a lift with them. Social media, you've got 120 to 160 characters. If you're on LinkedIn, your headline is 120 characters, and that may be the only thing that anybody ever knows about you because they make, made that decision on that 120 character headline. On your Twitter profile, it's 160 characters, and people are going to make decisions of whether to follow you or not based on what you've written in your bio. So you've got a very limited time, and you're like your tweets, you know, you've got 140 characters for your tweet. Um, I know Facebook, the, the most effective updates are 85 characters. Did you know that? So it's very short, sharp, succinct. And the clearer you can be about your message and come across, the better. You've got to sort of like learn how to, I'm working with the author, putting a chapter in 140 characters. So it, the, the, the briefer you can be, the better because you've got a very limited time to get somebody's attention. Now, do you know what your one thing is? And I purposely haven't used USP <laughs> in the marketing thing. Mm -hmm. Disney uses magic as the one thing, and Volvo's got safety. So do you know what your one thing is for your business? It's the clearer you are about what you're all about, the clearer the message will come, come out. So your branding needs to be coherent across, across your website, across like all your social media that you're using. But the clearer the image you have of what you're trying to get out, the more, the, the more likely that people will be attracted, the right people will be attracted to you.